You're watching WMAR 2 News. For this digital news update, I'm Kelly Swoop. We start with some amazing news. A missing grandma and her grandson have been found alive. Martha Ann Davis and four-year-old Ashton went missing last Thursday just as some severe weather was moving into the Baltimore area. Well, their family says Davis left with nothing but her car keys. Today, they got some relief. Baltimore police say the pair were found in Anne Arundel County around 8.30 this morning. They are now recovering in the hospital. Ashton's father tells us that his son is okay and being checked out. And he says his mom, Ashton's grandma, was very dehydrated when she was located, but they're both getting the help they need. Now let's talk about gas prices. Don't worry, we actually have some good news for you. The national average price per gallon has dropped overnight to $4.03, according to updated data from AAA. That's the lowest since early March when Russia invaded Ukraine. Since gas prices are lower, analysts predict airfares might dip as well. Grocery prices could also fall slightly as producers and distributors won't have to pay as much for transportation. Here's a look at what we are paying in Maryland. The average price for a regular unleaded is $4. Again, that's according to AAA. That is down 56 cents in a week and 63 cents in a month. However, that is still 93 cents more than what we were paying this time last year. Well, police say they've caught the man who spray painted swastikas in parts of Timonium. Baltimore County Police say that Benjamin Katz has been arrested in the case. Last week, a viewer sent us this photo of a large swastika on a mailbox. The name Cox was spray painted above it, likely referring to the Republican gubernatorial nominee Dan Cox. Police say the graffiti began at the end of July on political signs in the area. Katz has been charged with several counts of malicious destruction and use of a hate symbol. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Your Wednesday morning starts off with lots of sunshine, but as we head into the afternoon, we're going to be watching some of those thunderstorms and showers trickle into the area, watching for some heavy rain, also some damaging wind possible with these thunderstorms. There's a low end risk for some flooding, so we will stay dialed in. Meanwhile, daytime highs will warm into the 90s for the ninth straight day in a row uh, for some of us. Upper 80s near the Mason-Dixon line. Heat indices are going to be up there as well, but we're expecting the numbers to drop off as secondary cold front slides through the area on Thursday. We're going to be looking at some very nice conditions for your Friday and Saturday and temps hanging out in the mid 80s through the start of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on our top stories as well as breaking news. And if you're looking for news and weather together while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in your app store.